Hello Internet, today we're going to talk about percussion sound design and for this we're going to use the Behringer Neutron because it's a what you hear is what you see kind of synth. Now for me, I think that percussion sound design is based on like two different levels. There's like the basic level and there's the complex level. What I mean is the first level you're going to use one oscillator, one noise generator, one filter, one or two envelopes. And the second one is the more complex one where you'll have two oscillators, FM, ring modulation, two filters, two to three envelope generators, and for sure, the noise generator. With that said, let's take this first level thing and start to make some percussions. Now, the first and simple percussion, I think, which will explain a lot of, you know, which will explain the concept really well, is to make a closed hi-hat. With this, I'm going to take my noise, a generator well I'm going to take a patch cable I'm going to patch the noise to the filter directly and I'll pass by the I'll pass by the oscillator so we'll just have some noise turn the level up with my first ADSR which is basically my amplitude envelope generator we're going to make it snappy Basically, no sustain, no release, and a little bit of decay. We're starting to get there, but now with our low pass filter, let's give it some envelope. And now let's make the filter envelope snappy too. Maybe with some resonance, just a little bit. Here's our hi-hat. Now let's alter the sound a little bit. I'll turn on the overdrive module. Now, we have this. See, we can alter the sound with the tone. And we can start getting some really interesting stuff. Anyways, I'm sorry, I've said we're going to stick to the first level, so I'm not going to use the overdrive. Sorry for that. But you know, I've just wanted to show you what will, how will it sound if we've added just some overdrive behind it. So. Here's our closed hi-hat. Let's now try to make an open hi-hat. Now, please note that everything that I'm doing in here is not supposed to sound like the authentic analog 808 or whatever kind of a hi-hat. Or, or whatever percussion uh, we'll make after that. I'm just trying to show you how to make some percussions using simple methods and simple synthesis techniques. With that said, let's try to make an open hi-hat. Now, for an open hi-hat, I'll take the envelope, uh, filter envelope all the way down. We don't need it. I'm going to put, you know, the filter almost at the end, push up the resonance and now I'll give it some sustain and release here's our open hi-hat now if we want to take things a little bit further I'm going to blend the first oscillator with it for this and now I'll take my second oscillator, we're just going to use the second oscillator. I'll put it in the first attenuator so I can have a volume up and down. You know? so I can have a volume knob. And I'll take the first attenuator, I'm going to put it in the sum because I want to sum it with the noise. If I'll take the noise and I'll sum it in here and the sum, both of them is going to the filter. Now, please bear with me, 
I'm going to make other tutorials about the patch bay but for now the idea is what I've made in here is that I created with the first attenuator a volume knob for the oscillator so basically no oscillator oscillator with the oscillator now I'm going to take it all the way up to the 10 octave plus thing put it on a square Just turn the noise down. See, I got this. I've just wanted to create this resonance with the oscillator, like the, the resonance part, the resonant part of the hi-hat. And now we have this. Oh, sorry. It was, uh, you know, my pulse width modulation was all the way down. And that's pretty much it. That's like another kind of uh, open hi-hat we've made with a oscillator, filter, and some noise. Now let's try to make some sort of a wood plug. We're going to take the noise out. And we're just going to use one oscillator on pulse and with the help of the envelope generator which which I'm going to set it just like the closed hi hat we'll get something like this sorry oh, let's take this I'm going to leave the filter wide open let's put it eight we can maybe use a band pass some resonance we can maybe key track it with some release See, by just changing the octave, we get all of this new palette of sounds just by, you know, square wave, really fast envelope, and a filter, which is just key tracking, you know, the notes. We, we can just stop key tracking and maybe use some filter envelope to modulate the filter a little bit. Like, as I've said, I'm going to stay at what I call level 1, but if we take it to the level 2 and add the second oscillator with it, same settings, pulse, uh, pulse with modulation, we can get some even interesting, more interesting stuff like...
and just a little tiny bit of pulse width modulation detune them a little bit We get this kind of kind of a woodblock or something. If you change the filter a bit, again, you know. So you know what I'm trying to say. You know, at the end, like we've created all of this palette of sounds just by simple square wave and a little bit of filter filtering and you know really fast envelope and we got all of these like um, this palette of sounds just using like you know simple tools like a VCO well now I've used two I've said I'm not gonna use but you know I've just really wanted to show you this uh, filter really fast envelope and we got ourselves some percussion and uh, and you know that's pretty much it for this video. I think I've showed you the what's for me the principles of percussion sound design. For sure we can go even deeper in this but I'm going to leave that for another video. And you know with that said this is the end of this video but you know just before we end it um, I have to announce that in the couple of next couple of days I'm going to release my first uh, percussion sample pack which I've made entirely on the Neutron and uh, with the help of my uh, friend from Pedal for Synth, you can check his channel, you know, in the link in the description. But I'm going to give it away for free, so stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to post about that in the days that come. So this is the end of this video. Hope you've liked it. Have a great day.